Good morning, church. My name is Lori Moreland. I work on staff at Heights Church, and I'm also a volunteer leader in the junior high ministry. We've been diving into the book of Proverbs this month. It's the book of wisdom, or one of three books of wisdom. And one of the things that I learned as I was studying this is that the word for wisdom in Hebrew is chukmah. And chukmah isn't just wisdom of being smart. It's like a thread that will be woven through your whole life with more characteristics and qualities than we could just use in one word like we do with the word wisdom. It can also mean a skill, applied knowledge. It also has integrity, that moral component to it. And it asks, what does it mean to live well in God's world? Hukma attributes wisdom to God, but it says that we can tap into it. And you have noticed, I'm sure, that the Proverbs have an if-then order, a cause and effect. So if you live well and you honor God, then things will go well for you. So let's dig in. I'm going to be talking about Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 through 4. And it says, Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. So I think that we would agree that loyalty, which is often translated as faithfulness in other translations, and kindness are attributes that we want people to treat us with. And I'm sure that we also want to treat other people the same way. But we know that unexpected things happen and sometimes the storms of life come and even when we want to be kind and faithful or loyal, it's like being at a picnic when a great big wind comes up and all of the sudden all of the things that you've laid out so nicely are blowing away. And that is why the author, the writer of this proverb says, tie them around your neck. We need to secure those qualities like you would if those napkins were blowing away, you grab a rock and you put it on top of it. When the chips are flying in the wind, you take something and you tie it down. You want to secure it in a place where it won't blow away and it won't be subject to the things that come into our lives and cause disruption. The next line challenges us too. It says to write these two qualities deep within our heart, loyalty and kindness. Now, something that I learned when I was studying up on the Proverbs is that the Hebrews didn't believe, or they didn't actually have, not that they didn't believe, they actually didn't have a word for the brain because they thought that the knowledge or wisdom was within our heart. So not only did they believe that the heart was an organ that sustained life, they believed that it was where the knowledge resided, they also believed that the heart was where all of our emotions were kept. So fear and joy and happiness and hurt. All those emotions were within the heart. And the fourth quality that they thought was present in the heart were the choices that were motivated by our desires. So not only did the author of this proverb say, tie loyalty and kindness around your neck, secure it, so it won't get disrupted when disruptions happen in our life, but also write it deep within our heart, the center of our place where not only do we think our thoughts, but we also have our deepest desires and where our emotions reside. So they're telling us to let kindness and loyalty or faithfulness permeate all areas of our very existence. To think about it, to feel it, to let it motivate our deepest desires. The wisdom of Hukma, of the Proverbs author, says that if you never let loyalty and kindness leave you by keeping it as the very center of your existence, then you will find favor with both God and people and you will earn a good reputation. Those are wonderful qualities to look forward to in our lives and you can stack the deck in your favor when you have loyalty or faithfulness and kindness as an attribute that you live out in your life. The other place that we'll find those two words are in the New Testament if you look into Galatians and the fruit of the Spirit. If you stay rooted in God, if you follow Jesus, then the fruit that you will produce, two of those qualities will be faithfulness and kindness. So I hope that as you go forward today, you will spend that time 
writing those qualities deep within your heart, that you will secure them around your neck. You will secure them in your heart so that you will remember even when the storms of life come up, you can still be kind, you can still be faithful, you can still be loyal. We love you, church family, and we can't wait to see you again next time.